Hello and welcome to the 14th lecture in this series. This lecture is going to look at cavity wall ventilation. From previous lectures we know that when we create a double skin blockwork or brickwork wall um, we're creating a space between the two uh, leaves of masonry and that has specific functions and we know that it helps with sound and it helps with thermal performance but it also helps protect the building from weather and as part of that we need to be able to ventilate the cavity. Most cavity walls require some degree of ventilation to ensure that we can drain water away from them properly and often the means of ventilating the cavity also doubles as a means of allowing any rainwater that's in the cavity to escape. There are various products that we can buy that can be installed to help with ventilation and drainage of the cavity. This lecture is going to look at what those products are and how they can be placed within the wall. The most basic form of ventilating product visible on the face of a wall is a weep vent. And these are the small plastic ventilators that you see placed in the perpen joints of brickwork or blockwork and they take up the space of one of the mortar joints. Weep vents should be installed to come flush with the face of masonry, so you want them to stand out from the face of masonry so that any moisture running through them uh, falls clear. There are various models of weep vent available. Um, they're available in different colours from different manufacturers and you can match them to uh, brickwork and the colour of your brick. Internally the weep vents are open, so they're a kind of open channel to allow for maximum airflow and for drainage. And the front face usually has some kind of grill attached to it. Working alongside the weep vents, we need to install a DPC. And in single leaf masonry, the DPC usually functions to stop moisture from the ground penetrating the wall above. In a cavity wall, it can perform a dual function. We can install it and bridge the cavity to direct moisture towards the outside of the wall and eventually to the weep vents. And there's a couple of different types of uh, ventilation that we have to think about, and these are defined within the Scottish building regulations. There's ventilated and vented. So ventilated is where we've got uh, a greater amount of air moving through the, the wall, and that usually requires um, vents at the top and bottom of the wall so that there is a cross flow of air. The less stringent standard is a vented cavity. So in normal circumstances, then if that's a masonry outer leaf, we can install vents only at low level or at high level. And if we look at the NHBC guidelines, what they're looking for is the equivalent of one open per pend every 1.2 metres. The Scottish technical standards give a slightly more um, exact number, so it's 300 millimetres squared of free area at 1.2 meter centers. Now in practice both of these are probably exactly the same. So we'll have a little look at how this uh, product or these products might be installed into uh, a, a, an actual wall. So here we see a wall, we've got an outer layer of brickwork and an inner layer of blockwork and there's a, a cavity between them and the two are joined by, by wall ties. And the first thing that we see is a DPC, which is bedded into the mortar on both the blockwork and the brickwork, um, but it steps down so that there's a slope towards the outside of the uh, masonry, so that any water within that cavity is actually going to hit this, run down, and be forced towards the outside of the building. And against the end of the brickwork into one of the open perpen joints, we would place a, a weep ventilator. So that takes the place of one of the mortar joints um, entirely. And then we can build brickwork up around about it. And if we're using a light coloured mortar, we would choose a light coloured weep vent to match in with that. And if we look at where a, a lintel is placed, um, we also need to have um, weep vents and DPCs over lintels because they're effectively a blockage into the, the cavity. So we want to be able to direct any moisture that's falling down or dripping off the wall ties towards the outside. So similar way we would have a DPC, it could be a, a flexible or a rigid sheet, 
um, and that would be bedded into the mortar in both leaves and it would fall towards the outside, be held tight against the, the, the lintel and it would direct the moisture out to um, the outside of the building. So in conclusion, ventilation allows air to pass into the cavity, preventing the buildup of moisture, which could damage the fabric of the building. Ventilation could also allow moisture to drain from the cavity if it's penetrated through the outer leaf. So aspects which you should take from this lecture are that cavities can be vented or ventilated depending on the exposure, that cavities are normally ventilated by means of weep vents between the bricks, that cavity ventilation is distinct from subfloor ventilation, it's not the same thing, and that weep vents are placed between bricks at 1.2 meter centers. Okay, thank you very much for listening. And as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to ask.